This crossroads in Mississippi will come up again. We're in Corinth at the Depot Museum. Okay, we just toured the Corinth Train Museum and it's really great. It's kind of an old fashioned, older museum with a lot of interesting exhibits on trains and railroad and the history of Corinth. So it's definitely worth checking out if you are in Corinth, Mississippi. Okay, so the original doors for this depot, you can see there's an awning and there's two double doors there. That would be the original front entrance. And actually where you check in and pay and the reception area is an old baggage claim area. And there's a double door window on the other side where I guess trains would unload and put baggage. There's a cafeteria on the end and there were two waiting areas there. It was because it, it was segregated. We like museums, so we wanted to check this out while in town. Cool. This museum holds more than just information on trains. In fact, there is more of Corinth history than trains. Yay. There are many exhibits in here. In the front are the welcomes and the train history information. Credits regarding the depot and renovations. And a little Corinth information. There are oddities and archaeological specimens unearthed in the area. Native American history and classic American. Some of these pieces are very nicely preserved. Corinth train travel back in the day.
Then it gets to the Civil War. Some interesting items. Then on to Corona College, a female seminary. It had a lyceum society, and the students published a literary magazine known as The Wreath. The building was commandeered by the Union Army for use as a hospital during the Battle of Shiloh. They burned it in 1864, and it never reopened. I'm always fascinated by these dioramas. Medicine during the war was not pretty. They have quite a few war displays as Shiloh was fought very close. Stay tuned. They have a lot of insights into their part of the Civil War. Then there's the lantern exhibit. Who knew there were so many different types? I could not find anything on this hotel. Love the plane. Yeah, Folks, this guy visited Corinth. 1935. I love the sunlit telegraph room. Looked like a nice place to write.
We come to the back section and find what turned out to be the centerpiece of this tour. This hand-carved wooden plaque. ESL Lancaster and Daughters. And it was carved with that knife. Crazy town. Carved with this. Okay. This exhibit has the following history. This hand carving was finished in 1904 by E.S. Lancaster, now 83 years old at the time of this, and daughter, Miss Ida M. Miller, both of whom reside at Renzi, Mississippi. This is a handmade with pen knife attached to the exhibit. No training was received in the line of art, the achievement was initiated out of natural instinct and is constructed of five kinds of natural colored woods. No paint or stain used anywhere. The eagle, the flags, and the scroll are shaped out of one piece of Michigan pine timber. The eagle's eye is constructed of manzanita wood procured from 5,000 feet elevation on the side of Mount Lowe in California. Faces of presidents and background of Lincoln and McKinley carvings are of Michigan pine, 40 years old. The hair and the beard and the white and blue of the eyes of Buckeye wood grown in the state of Indiana, 40 years old. Pupil of eyes is black rubber. Background of the Garfield carving is of poplar wood, 95 years old and grown in Indiana. The shirts the collars and the frame of the exhibit is constructed of linwood, 40 years old. The coat and tie of Lincoln is constructed of black walnut from a music case, 230 years old, purchased from the McKeever family in Jonesboro, Indiana. The coats and ties of Garfield and McKinley were also constructed of black walnut from a table, 130 years old, purchased from Joseph Hill, Jonesboro, Indiana. The amount of labor and patience required to finish this construction is left to the judgment of the observer. Certified at Rainsy, Mississippi, this July 7th, 1933. These pictures always call out to me. Windows to a past, bustly and vibrant. Also a favorite of mine is The Empty Room. Just pure historic building construction, as it was, as it still is. See you not far down the road.